Hi Kastrology family, welcome back and if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Kaylin and on Kastrology I post all kinds of content related to astrology, tarot, spirituality and occult knowledge. So if this kind of content interests you, please subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Instagram where I'm very active, on Twitter and on Facebook as well. This month I'm going to be doing a new series on all 12 astrological signs and how the astrological events of October are going to impact those signs. So please watch your ascendant sign video, otherwise known as your rising sign, first and foremost ahead of sun or moon signs. Despite the fact that you may identify more with your moon sign or your sun sign, you will get the most accurate reading if you watch my ascendant sign video. By all means, you can watch all three, but if you're only gonna watch one today, watch your ascendant sign video. So for the month of October, it's pretty jam-packed full of lots of things going on. Uh, the most important one, I think, is that we're starting to feel the effects of the Mercury retrograde pre-shadow period, which is always about two weeks-ish before Mercury actually uh, stations retrograde. Uh, that will be on the 14th of October, uh, but you'll definitely be feeling those energies from the beginning of October. You might even feel that from the end of September. I've certainly been feeling that myself. And anyone who's a Gemini rising or Virgo rising, sun or moon, you will feel that more strongly than anyone else, as will Scorpio for this month. So with uh, Mercury being in retrograde until November the uh, November the fourth or fifth, you are going to find that exes are going to be popping up out of the woodwork, whether that's ex partners, ex um, friends, or people who used to be in your life. It doesn't have to necessarily have ended on bad terms, but uh, you'll just find that people start messaging you out of the blue or calling you out of the blue to catch up or just to chat and uh, that's going to have a big impact on wherever you have Scorpio in your birth chart that is where Mercury will be transiting. Uh, for the rest of the month we will also be seeing Pluto turning direct on the 4th of November and we're going to see uh, two full moons this month, a full moon in Aries on the 1st of October and a full moon in Taurus on the 31st of October and in addition to that Venus will be in Virgo for almost the entire month and uh, we've got a couple of other things happening in the month as well. So enough of the preamble, I'll get into the individual videos now so make sure you are watching the right video for you and like I said earlier, you can definitely watch all three for your sun, moon and rising. Hi, my lucky last Piscean sun, moon and risings. Thank you so much for your patience and for clicking on this video. I hope you enjoy what I have to share with you for October 2020. So we have Mars in retrograde, which is transiting your, sixth, uh, your second house. Now your second house rules your finances, your valuables and your possessions. Mars stationed retrograde on the 9th of September and it won't be direct until middle of November. So when a planet turns retrograde, it means that we have to focus a lot more energy and attention to those matters. So Pisces, you've been really focused on your finances, on your income, how you're making money and on your valuables, possessions and anything that you value. So this includes your self-worth, how much you value yourself. And when Mars is retrograde or any planet's retrograde, we are coming up with new strategies and we're changing you know, mentality and direction. And with this uh, Mars retrograde transit to the second house, you've been really concerned about your income, finances, Maybe there's been uh, an unexpected fluctuation in money that's coming in, or you could simply be reevaluating how you make money. Are you enjoying it? Do you enjoy your valuables? Do you enjoy the possessions that you do have? Do you need to purge some things and, and get rid of them? 
you know, Mars, Mars rules sharp objects? Are you, you know, cutting things out of your life which are just weighing you down? Perhaps you, you know, had an enormous collection of coins or stamps and you're suddenly realizing that it's taking up too much space. I don't value this anymore. I need to get it out of my life. Now, on a deeper level, you are doing a lot of uh, introspective work. You're thinking about how much you value yourself. Have you been treating yourself well? Have you been treating yourself the way that you deserve? Now, with the full moon in Aries occurring on the 1st of October and conjunct Chiron, you might have an epiphany uh, surrounding your, your self-worth, your self-esteem and your self-confidence. You might realize that you know there are things in your life that are no longer serving you and this could very well uh, manifest in the form of your friendship circle because mars is squaring your 11th house which is ruled by capricorn and the 11th house rules over your friendship circle uh, your larger friendship network your acquaintances people in your peripheral and uh, any kind of larger interconnected group or system. So if you're a part of some you know, large group, could be, um, you know, I don't know, a yacht club, it could be a golf club, it could be an online community, and perhaps you have an epiphany, uh, which leads you to realize that you don't want to be a part of this group anymore. They don't serve you, they're not adding to your uh, self-worth and in any case it actually could be detracting from you uh, detracting from your self-worth you're realizing that hey these people don't value me and this has led me to devaluing myself and all of a sudden you want to cut them out of your life and that's perfectly understandable pisces now with uh your 11th house being ruled by capricorn you have saturn Pluto and Jupiter all transiting the 11th house. So perhaps you haven't had access to your friendship network, uh, your group, community, any kind of group that you've lent on for, not necessarily support, it could be enjoyment. Uh, for you, Pisces, having your 11th house ruled by Capricorn can mean that uh, your friends take on a Capricornian nature in that they are um, somewhat cold or distant or, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be negative in that respect. It, it could just be that it's it's very business-like or transactional or, you know, simply not very emotional, which for you Pisces is, as an emotional sign, you know, you might struggle with your friendship circles in this way, especially with uh, this Saturn, Pluto, and uh, Jupiter stellium in the 11th house. The good news is that Saturn has turned direct. It's stationed direct on the 28th of September, and it'll actually be moving out of your 11th house into your 12th house, middle of December, as will Jupiter. So you'll have a lot more access to uh, enjoying these uh, friendship uh, friendship circles, networks, connections from mid-December onwards and you know you won't feel so isolated from these groups or communities anymore from middle of December onwards if not you know beginning of January. Now on another level we have Venus transiting your seventh house and Venus is in Virgo from the uh, 3rd of October until the 28th of October. Venus changes sign every few weeks so it's not a huge deal but it is lovely to have venus in your seventh house because the seventh house rules partnerships relationships one-on-one uh, -on -one relationships of all kinds so it might be your life partner um, your spouse it could be a business partner one-on-one um, -on -one clients uh, or even like your really really close friends and the fact that it's Venus here, you know, it could be enjoying time with uh, close female friends or uh, friends with a strong feminine energy. And with the new moon in Libra occurring in your eighth house on the 16th of October, you might experience a, a newfound intimacy with your partner or a 
uh, newfound interest in anything to do with astrology, the occult, uh, you know, esoteric knowledge, anything to do with uh, healing, Reiki, it could even be psychology, it could even be a, a new developed interest in conspiracy theories or anything which is um, taboo in nature, if you catch my drift. So Pisces, with this new moon in Libra, you might actually uh, receive a bit of uh, di disapproval from, from uh, your 11th house connection because it is it's squaring the 11th house. So anyone uh, in your friendship circle or you know an acquaintance, they might not approve of this uh, new interest or this uh, new intimate relationship if of course you know they find out about it. Um, but in any case, uh, uh, Pisces, it could actually be a, um, a new development in your mutual resources because the eighth house rules mutual resources. So uh, it doesn't have to be that of your intimate partner. It can be your business partner um, or anywhere where you've pulled money, pulled money with other people and you could actually be benefiting from that once Mars turns direct mid-November because this opposition is occurring with, with the retrograde planet. So uh, you'll see, you know, the money hitting your, your bank account from middle, middle of next month onwards. Now we've got Mercury in retrograde in your ninth house. The ninth house rules higher education, not high school education. I mean... Um, college degree, university degree, master's programs, um, you know, tertiary education, anything which requires a lot of study and that it's not just like a short course, something which spans uh, typically years or at least one year. But in any case, with the ninth house, uh, having Mercury retrograde here for pretty much the whole month, including the shadow period, you may find miscommunications with regard to this higher education. It could be uh, regarding submitting applications for further study. So any paperwork or documentation which is required. The ninth house rules teachers and mentors. So it could be getting some uh, paper or thesis returned to them and you get confused with the dates or you were waiting uh, results or feedback from a teacher or a mentor and it doesn't arrive uh, at the t during the time frame that you were told that you know you'd be getting these results back uh, on another level the ninth house rules over your world views your philosophical views and your views pertaining to religion spirituality um, and atheism and any worldview that you hold is subject to change at this time because when a planet turns retrograde it allows us to see things from a different angle and when it comes to mercury it's the mentality so we're thinking about these things from a different angle that we hadn't um that we hadn't considered before now the fact that mercury is in scorpio and scorpio is a sign that's co connected to secrets it could be that um a secret is shared, it doesn't have to be a secret, but uh, we can say occult knowledge or secret knowledge, language of the universe, some kind of knowledge is shared with you, which is deep in nature and philosophical in nature. And this information can uh, reach you via a teacher, mentor, guru, um, or even by deep research, you know, reading a, a lot of reading materials related to philosophical studies. In any case, Pisces, you are expanding your mind. You are thinking about the world in a much uh, deeper way. I know you guys are a deep sign anyway, but something uh, shifts for you guys. Something like clicks into place and all of a sudden... You know, you just have a different a different set of beliefs, and these beliefs might uh, take you by surprise and 
when you share them with, let's say, a teacher or a mentor, or if you're a teacher or a mentor, and you suddenly um, pivot and do a 180 from everything that you've been teaching and preaching, it can be quite shocking to others. On another level, Pisces, we have a full moon in uh, Taurus, conjunct Uranus, and this is happening in your third house. Now, the third house rules siblings, extended family, it rule, as in cousins, aunties, and uncles. It rules uh, your close-knit friendship circles, schoolmates, teammates, uh, business contacts, and colleagues. And it also rules um, communications of all kinds. Now, with a full moon occurring in the third house, conjunct Uranus, it's actually an exact conjunction, we can see a shocking development take place in, in this third house. And the reason for that is that Uranus rules uh, sudden change, shocking developments, uh, and swift upheaval. So, you know, it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, shocking in a negative way, Pisces, but it could be a shocking new development in the life of your siblings, or a sibling, in particular the younger sibling. Uh, it could also be a shocking, uh, shocking news that comes from uh, extended family, from a cousin or an auntie, or you know, just just in general, someone from your family. Um, you know, something crazy happens to them, and you find out about it from them, or they share news with you, which was like completely out of the blue. Now, any uh, project that you have been working on uh, in collaboration with others, because the third house rules collaborations, can be released at this time because full moons are uh, related to release work, culmination, coming full circle and, and harvest. So, you know, anything that you've been working on with uh, teammates, classmates, you know, business project, or even if you're in business with family, might be released at this time. And you know, the, sh the shocking element per se could be that um, it's released ahead of time, like before everyone else was expecting, or you know, someone else pulls the trigger before you and you're like, hey, this wasn't done or this wasn't ready. On a completely uh, different note, it could be that something that you have been working on uh, is released via uh, social media, the internet, it goes live to your colleagues. Um, and, you know, there's a lot, there's like a flurry of, of action surrounding this project that you've released into the world. So Pisces, that is all I have for you today for October. I hope you enjoyed this report. If you did, please like this video. If you want to see next month's report for September, uh, for November, please subscribe. I also share uh, other content related to spirituality, occult knowledge, anything astrology and tarot related Pisces. Thanks again. And I hope you have a great month ahead. Bye for now.